Partners. Alongside my broadcast partner, Zeke Altman, I am Joey Matroni. Zeke, how are you feeling about tonight's matchup? Oh, I'm feeling so excited, and, and this is a big revenge game. I know they lost their first matchup, but this is bigger than that. A loss in the quarterfinals last year of the tournament in the MIA tournament against a good Wachusett side, but against a Melrose side that didn't make a tournament, this could set off their season in a very positive way. Joey? There are going to be some differences in tonight's game, minus... Minus, um, minus a good Hannah Surrett, who, was, who is a senior captain. They're going to have to look to the more of a post presence between um, Megan Quayley and Cindy Lavissier, and then look to dish it out to the perimeter to people like Amber Hayden and McKenna Morrison, who after some debate will be on the floor tonight. Yeah, McKenna Morrison questionable coming into this game. She will make an appearance tonight after 10 points against St. Mary's. She looks to be a big part of this basketball team, along with the likes of Cindy Labissier and Megan Qualey. And you look, that presence in the paint that Megan Qualey and Cindy Labissier have, you look at them, you have guy, uh, girls like McKenna Morrison and Amber Hayden in the corners. You dish it out to them, they can knock down a triple. That's for sure. That matchup against St. Mary's was overall a good outcome for the Tanners going up against a team that's first in the state and only getting a respectable score of 50 to 48. And at the half of that game, the Tanners went in up two by a score of 35 to 33. And it was only a matter of the Spartan defense tightening up just enough for them to get the two point win. Well, yeah, Joey. And one thing about this team that's special is the boys and the girls have the same amount of popularity. This girls team is so fluent, so good at their passing, shooting. They're just a great team, led by Coach Steve Sullivan. And they had losses with Jenna Taylor and K Casey Dangora and Carly Dangora, the Dangora twins. But their leadership, Cindy Labissier, who just committed to Lehigh University for soccer, Megan Qualey, who is an amazing volleyball player, all these different athletes and different all-around people, players, athletes are going to have to get it done if they want to overcome the losses of those other girls. So, Joey, can this team make it back into the playoffs? I think you could see them easily make it back into the playoffs, but I know their goal is to make it even further than they did before. That first round exit against Wachusett was obviously not what they wanted and it ended in not a sort of fashion that you like to see from a team, but you know with the leadership from Coach Sullivan, they're going to find themselves back in the postseason. Okay, and it is time for the introduction of our players. We'll take you to center court now for our game. There you go. Number one. Yo, Anthony, turn on the... Number two, Captain Sophia Smith. Number ten, Captain Chloe Gentilly. Number twenty-three, Captain Megan Casey. And number thirty-three, Captain Mia Parker. Introducing the starting lineup for the Tanners. Number one, McKenna Morrison. Number 31, Shannon McCarthy. Number 24, Captain Kendra Beater. Number 23, Captain Cindy Lovisier.
and what a rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. We are so set and ready for the tip-off of the first home game of this Woburn Lady Tanner season. And we have our starting lineup announced, Meg Qualey, Cindy Labissiere, Shannon McCarthy, McKenna Morrison, and um, Amber Hayden. Is there any surprises with that? No, I think that's what you expected going into tonight, but the hope was that McKenna Morrison would be able to go, and just like that, she's in the starting lineup, so you know you're gonna be able to see the outside shooting of someone like Morrison who we mentioned and scored 10 points in just the first quarter in the season opener against St. Mary's. And the two people to look out for on Melrose are the likes of Sophia Smith and Chloe Gentile who are the two captains for Melrose. So we are set and ready to go for this Tanner's girls season as Megan Coyley takes the tip and the girls will win the tip. Number 24, Amber Hayden to Megan Qualey, and she will get two points to start off the game. Qualey cuts right in off the tip, and Hayden ends up finding her in easy bucket to get it started. Number three, Sophia, Sophia Smith with the ball. Back to Sophia Smith. Sophia Smith will shoot for three and miss it, and it will go out of bounds. Tanner's basketball. What do you see out of that first defensive possession for the Tanners? Forcing the outside shot is, I think, what the Tanners want to do is you want to limit the amount of easy layups attempted in a game as Lavissier around the elbow back outside. Morrison going to take a jump shot around the free throw line. Misses. Morrison with the rebound. Back out to McCarthy. We'll reset, Labissiere with the ball at, on the wing, on the left wing. 